All right, guys, let's get it cracking. Post East versus West. Gotta say, I'm a little excited because I do believe I won the little bet I had with Artem and Travis a couple weeks back. When I look at the list, I noted the ones that they had different from me, and I think I got more right than they did. And I don't care if they change shit online or uh, down the road. When we were there, we wrote our list, and I got them all right except three. I got uh, Daniel and Mindagas wrong, but that was close. And in the beginning, it looked like Daniel was dominating. So good on you, Mindagas. Like, big fucking win. Humongous. But I thought that one was a coin toss. But based on your history and the winning record, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think you could fault anyone for betting on Daniel at that point in time. You know, it was tit for tat for me. That was the closest one for me. I also lost the Prudnik match. Uh... That was one that I kind of like rolled the dice to be a little different because everyone was going with um, Muratov. And I also have huge respect for Prudnik. I know he's not like a long shot. It's not too far off. So I figured maybe he could have snatched him up in a way that like hung him up and then like a, like a scooping, punching up type high hook. It turned out to be a little bit lower and he got dragged through. Eh, I tried. And then Alex Kredetcha, which, I, in my opinion, sorry, guys, sorry, Dan and Mindagas, that was the best match of the night because um, we saw everything. We saw top rolls. We saw straps. We saw flops. We saw hooks. We saw back and forth rapid pins. We saw wars. Um, to me, that's the best match of the night. So I lost on Alex. And so the rest of them out of 14 matches, I got right. If I've got all you guys marked down correctly... You're wrong. I'll take that PayPal. But I want to do a breakdown on all these matches, including some of the ones that like have a perception around them, as well as a training and arm wrestling ideology that is proven to be skewed, wrong, misinformed. But we'll get into that. Great fucking night for East vs. West. Great, uh... Looking forward to King of the Table. I gotta tell you, when I look at the card and some of these guys, I'd be very interested how I match up with them now that I'm feeling strong, healthy, and confident. And it's only gonna get more so as the months go by. I think with my lack of vulnerability through the hand and wrist, I would be uh, a very viable threat to making a run at the top of one or two of these classes. That's my thought. Now, I'll just keep pumping that shit out there as we keep going and as I keep doing me. And then we'll see. Am I talking shit or am I talking reality? We'll see. But I loved me some good arm wrestling. I loved uh, being here. I was pulling on some rubber bands and springs and doing shit that maybe I shouldn't have been doing. But you know what? Something about recharging the batteries and getting the juices flowing. So hats off. I stayed around for the day, ate some food and loved it. Everyone else, you're the men in the arena. I'm going to start making some equipment. And on the back of all of it, it's going to have the man in the arena speech because I think it's what everybody needs to live by. I had a trophy given to me from my uncle a long time ago and a very powerful speech that's so true, especially in today's day and age where we're so quick to slash, like out with the old and with the new. Nah. Not me. Gladiators, I salute you. And uh, I'd love to revisit all these matches uh, on another day. Let the winners win and the losers. Hey, I've been both sides. Everyone in this uh, card has been both sides. So you kind of soak it in. You get back. You, you, you rebuild. You rebound. And uh, shit, it's the sport. It's a combat sport. And uh, uh, you know what? I'm not opposed to going to Turkey again. I love the food. Eh, who knows? Future's a fucking funny thing. What you say you never will do today, tomorrow you might absolutely be willing to do. Eh, that's my father talking to me. He said, never say never, Robbie. Never know, Engen. I might be your next champ. But for today, good job. I was highly entertained.